Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've got a rainbow theme at the moment. I want to know what would happen if I put rainbows, rainbow colours down in rainbow order in concentric circles, starting from the centre of a canvas and working outwards, and then blew it out with the hairdryer like an explosive Dutch pour. So the colours could well muddy, um, but I want to give it a try to see if I can get sort of a ra rings of rainbow colours. Um, so let's get started. I'm using a hexagonal canvas. I've just drawn some diagonal lines just so I can work out roughly where the centre is. So I'm going to put my rainbow down, starting from the centre, going outwards. Um, I've got to make sure I don't put too much of the red in the centre because I think otherwise the red will just get blown over the rest of the colours um, and so I won't get the rest of the colours. Um, I also need to make sure I don't put the last colour too far at the edge because you won't see it, it will all get blown off. Um, so I think maybe less is more with this. So let's just go a little bit of red first. So that's the Iridescent Red Blue by Pebio. And then this is the Iridescent Orange. Uh, this colour, De La Rowney Naples Yellow the first time I've used it and it is beautiful really pretty colour it's just quite it's quite got a quite softness to it now green I'm almost out of this green and to my horror I've just realized I don't have any more of the paint so I need to buy some it's my favorite green which is probably why I've run out This is literally the last few drips. I buy these Pebio paints from Hobbycraft when they're on offer because they, I think a couple of times a year, they have an offer where paints are half price. So I buy loads of paint in one go and I'm just coming towards the end of it. So I lose track of what I've got. And yeah, just realised I've run out of green. So that was Pebio Iridescent uh, Blue Green. This is Amsterdam Primary Cyan. And now Amsterdam, uh, what does this say? I've written it on here. Ultramarine Violet. And then Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose. And then last but not least, Amsterdam Persian Rose. Right, I'm going to go back and add a little bit more. Apart from the green, obviously, because I'm out.
So I'm wondering if I should put anything here to make it flow better. I think what I might do is actually just cover the rest in the pink, just quite a thin layer at the edge, just to help the paint flow over the top. So the last thing I'm going to do is just add just a drizzle of white over it because the white will just brighten up the colours. Right, so I'm going to blow this out with the hairdryer. So from the centre, every time towards the outside, I have absolutely no idea what this, whether this will work or not. Let's try. I am so excited. It's actually worked. It's worked. It's not perfect, but it's worked. So you've got the red, orange, yellow. Green is missing a little bit. Blue, purple's missing a little bit, but then pink. But it doesn't matter. I love how irregular the centre is. There are some amazing cells coming up. So I've got some orange cells here. So the orange from the centre has managed to get out here. I don't like that line. I'm just going to sort that line out. It's a bit too wavy. Oh my goodness, though, it's actually worked. I love it. I love the wispy white bits in the centre. I'm just going to try and get rid of that kink there, that funny line. There's a slightly funny line there as well. Right, I'm going to torch it because you might, I might get some of the missing colours pop up if I do that. I'm so, so excited about this. I love it. It has worked. Right, let me get you in for a close up. So it really looks like tie dye to me. So when you use tie dye and you, you um, roll up a t-shirt, put the bands on it and then put the different colors in, it looks just like that. It also looks like somehow I put the colors on and I put it on a turntable and spun it because it, everything is shooting off towards the edges. Um, I'm definitely missing the green. Um, I don't care because I love it, but um, I think if I did it again, I'd have to wait until I've got more green and add more green. Look at the sparkle and the shimmer and at the edges, for some reason, it seems to be just at the edges. You've got these just amazing cells. So look, there's the orange. So that has gone from the center to the outside. So maybe just because all the colors have blended more right at the edge, that's why I've got the cells. Is that a heart?
I think I've got a little heart cell. <laughs> How sweet. And look at all that sparkle. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I've wondered about this type, this uh, sort of technique for a while. See if I could get um, this sort of effect by, by putting the rings down in, in circles. I now can stop wondering if it would work or not because it does. So happy. I'll be back when it's dry. So I think this has to be one of my new favourite ever paintings. It's so dynamic. The way the paint just, it looks like it's all spun out from the centre. Um, it's just so bright and cheerful and happy. Um, and I love this design on this shaped canvas. I just think it works so well. Um, the details are beautiful. So right around the edge, you've got amazing cells. And I just love how it, all the colours just sort of almost look like they're spinning over the top of each other. Uh, love pink next to blue. Um, as I said, some of the colours were slightly lost, but it doesn't detract from the overall piece. I think it it just, yeah, works so well. Absolutely love this. And it's such an easy technique to do. So if you're just starting out paint pouring, give it a go. Just layer the colours on and blow it out from the centre and I'm pretty sure you'll get a, a good result. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, leave me any comments, any thoughts you have. I'd love to hear from you. And please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.